morning, beautiful people. Another lovely day out in the wilderness. And this time, I finally am out in the wilderness. First night on the Arizona Trail was an absolute success. Although, it does get cold in Arizona. When that sun goes down, holy cow. I, uh, I started sleeping in my shorts and my t-shirt. And then at some point, I had to put on my leggings, my hoodie, and then eventually my jacket. Um, the only thing left was my gloves and my hat, but I didn't need those. So my plan for today, um, I would like to do 20 miles because my next resupply isn't for 71 miles from here. Um, yeah, I'd like to do 20. The only problem is I've been starting so late. Like, it's past 8 o'clock right now, and I'm just getting started. But, whatever. I'm not really a early morning bird on this trail. Or the Colorado Trail, because the sun does not come out at 5.30 in the morning like it did on the AT. So, uh, that's my plan. If I can't make it 20, so be it. I'm not going to cry about it. But, there was water in that bear box. And that means there's water in the next bear box, which is eight miles from here. So I don't have to carry full capacity today. I am going to carry two and a half liters just to play it safe. Man, that bathroom smells. But, uh, <coughs> and still haven't seen a hiker. Although I did see in the log books, there's a group of hikers, but they're like a week and a half ahead of me. I'm not catching up to them. So, I'm pretty sure someone eventually will catch up to me. Whether or not I'm going to be hiking with a group on this trail is yet to be determined. So, we'll see about that. But I have to take a giant dump, and I've got to refill my water. Probably in that order, too. So, most importantly, it's going to be I was told these trees smell like butterscotch. And they do. <clears throat> they smell so good! trees and I'm sure a lot of you watching at home are like is he really in Arizona why are there so many trees well this is the northern part of Arizona uh, so there are a lot more trees than the southern part of Arizona near Mexico and New Mexico um, I think by the time I get to the town of Flagstaff. Uh, after that, it'll be more desert. So I'm enjoying this while it lasts because it's going to be a totally different experience once I get into the desert. So I'm going to make sure never to complain about this sun. Um, 
but let's be honest I'll probably complain about it in an hour so I'm less than a mile away from my water and then I'm gonna take a break there because why not I got the whole day oh, I gotta say so far this is really easy hiking um, the trail looks like this and right now I kind of feel like I'm on the Appalachian without all the giant rocks and roots I have to dodge as I'm going. So, whoo boy! I can't wait to sit down less than a mile left. There's beer and macaroni and cheese. I hate macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese, but that's from Courage the Cowardly Dog if anybody's ever seen it. So, I'm thinking it's uh, lunchtime. I'm eight, eight and a half down. So it's, it's a good time to have some lunch. All right, that was not the greatest lunch. Um, so I bought peanut butter. And if anyone knows me and uh, has been watching my stuff since the AT last year, you must remember I hate eating peanut butter out here. But it was like my only option for this heat because I was doing pepperoni and cheese but I can't do it out here because it gets so gross really fast but I was literally eating a peanut butter tortilla just now and I started gagging I can't do it anymore it's just it's too dang dry so I put it in that hiker box. Hiker box, it's not a hiker box. I put it in the bear box. Hopefully someone needs it. From now on, at least for this stretch until I get to the first town that I can resupply, I'm just gonna be eating chips in a wrap for lunch and cookies and, you know, it's not a very nutritious lunch, but it at least tastes better and it goes down easier than the stupid peanut butter. What a difference uh, in the landscape, huh? The first section of the day, I was in the trees. Second section of the day, there are no trees. Well, there's trees, but there's no shade. Uh, I'm assuming this forest at one point used to look like the other one, the one I went through in the morning. 
But this, this is just a wasteland. But uh, yeah, thank you for this wind. Just like the clouds yesterday, I've been getting lucky. Now, I know that luck is gonna run out eventually, but I'll take it while it lasts. And by the way, I've pooped twice today. Isn't that great? Usually I go days without taking one poop. And today, I've taken two. I think that is a first for me on trail. I'm pretty sure it is. So, thank you for your words of encouragement. I appreciate it. Ha-ha! More water! Let me tell you, feels a lot better in here than it does out there. The wind makes me cold because of the sweat on my back, so I go to stand in the sun, and that's too hot. And believe it or not, it's cooler in here than it is out there. <laughs> so, I don't even know how I fit in here, honestly. Uh, but, uh, how crappy would it be if these doors shut, huh? I'd, I would die in here for sure. But, I'm gonna try and make it another 6.1. Apparently there's a really nice campsite. Um, also, I can't camp out here because it's so windy, and I'm not trying to have a windy night with no trees. So I'm gonna keep going, either until I see a campsite with trees, or until I go six miles. So, whoever fills this water cache has to come back and fill it again. There's only less than half a liter left. And that's not, that's gonna like temporarily help out the person behind me, but that's about it. But that's not my problem. I got water. Not my couch, not my problem. That's what I have to say. Isn't that beautiful? Man! That's how much I trust my Sawyer. 1.3 miles left, baby. And then, home sweet home. Someone in the comments said, noise camping. Not nice, but noise. Eh, it could be flatter, that's for sure. Um, I mean, it's, it's all right. I got a view right over there. It's not much of a view, but I have one. It's got a fire pit. 
but I will not do a fire on this trail because I don't want to be responsible for this trail burning down. Uh, 22 point six, I think that's what it is. 22.6 miles. I don't want to go any further because we're out of the trees once I go further. So this is it. This is where I'm staying and no one can tell me otherwise. Still haven't seen a southbound hiker, but it's only day two. It was a great day. Uh, it was hot, but the wind was really nice to help me with the heat. Although that last water source, man, I don't know. It literally looks like I peed in there. And no, my pee is not that dark. It's actually clear as water. So I think I'm gonna filter that twice. Wish me luck. Other than that, that's it. Have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.